Hey, how's it going everyone? So I quickly wanted to talk about two to three things that I have found have kind of going to be important if you want to master Molina. I have not mastered these things, and this is why I'm mentioning them. I think they're very valuable. So one is Molina does have a good down two and a good stand one as her anterior, but this game is filled with jump kicks and uh, jump kicks kind of fraud you out a lot. So to counter that, you can still flawless block early jump kicks, right? Now, this all goes back into her stand two. Let me, let me make it a little bit easier for me. So, what you want to do is you want to OS this. So what you want to do is you want to press two up, which is the basic flawless block OS, where if they do an empty jump, you'll just get stand two. But what you actually want to also do is you want to input the whole string. So you want to input two, oops, or then set her to jump, okay. So what you want to do is you want to input two up and then one, um, three, three, four. So it should look like this. Now, if you look at the left side of the corner, you can see it's two, three, three, four. And the up is there. So if Shiva jumps, I'll get flawless block up two, or I'll get the whole string if she does an empty jump. Excuse me. And the reason why this is really important is because if she does the empty jump and she tries to empty jump down to you, Melina will actually, unless she does an instant empty jump down to you, Melina's stand two will become a mid property and you will not get crushing blow punished. So it's actually very good because it acts as a high mid. See, this is a high mid string. It's very, very good. It's minus as hell, but that's why you do the whole string. So if they block, you don't get punished. So for example, here, I'll set her to do an empty jump. Oops, I fucked it up. Pressing uh, three too many times. There we go. And you actually don't input four. My my apologies. You you actually don't input four because four is a high, so you'll get punished. You only do that if you're making a mind game. So as you can see there, and you can input them at the same time. See how on the on the left corner, it shows that I inputted them at the same time. That's fine. You can as long as you either input them at the same time or you input two first. Either one will work. Oops. So as you can see there, I os it into that. Oops. And so now, let's set her, let's set Shiva to do a, just a jump kick. Do I not have this jump kick set? Yeah, there we go. So I'm inputting three too many times. Well, actually, no, I'm not. Sorry. So I forgot. Um, you're actually gonna see three, three threes because because when you go to do the um the OS, fuck. You're gonna see three threes because when you go to do the OS, you're gonna input three three, and then when you see that you flawless blocked and you're OSing, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have to input three one more time and then input four, cause that's her three, four string. They just happen to be the same part of the string of your OS and then you're going to throw them. Well, you're gonna do stabby, right? So what it should look like is when Shiva jumps, you'll get the flawless block up two, or when anyone with a jump kick jumps, you'll get the flawless block up two. When they empty jump, you'll get a stand two into the string, and the string is minus six as long as you don't finish it. Now you can choose to finish it if you want, but it's unsafe. So there's that. Um, the other thing that you want to keep in mind is, like I said, if Shiva does an empty jump down two, she has to do it like immediately to get the crushing blow. So I'll set her to do, oops, actually just, so as you can see here, and sometimes it won't even work then because like if they miss time, then, oops, set it to four, oops, see? 
because it's a mid it comes out as a mid you'll just get hit and you won't get crushing blow down too it's very weird it's because of the mid like properties that 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 string shares you actually save yourself from a crushing blow down too so melina actually has a very good up to when it comes to osing it's just some of the unfortunate least how her up to how the hitbox works a lot of her strings you can't do flawless block up to so you can't you can't use it like an armor move but you can use it as an os so i highly recommend that the other thing i wanted to talk about this is going to be a longer video for this reason is you want to make sure when you play melina that you use stand two on wake up now i know people will down to you uh because it doesn't cover down early down twos or down two sorry they'll down two or down three or, or poke, sorry. They'll down to or, or poke. And the reason that works is because they're low profiling the high part of the string. But I highly recommend that you practice. You still do this on wake up because people will still try to wake up buttons you. It's like it's ingrained in even some of the best players I've played. I highly recommend that you still stick it out every once in a while. Plus, it leaves you minus six. Has a mind game between that and the high. People will try to duck it. And then you can go for a throw. You can actually do this and then go for a throw because they're trying to duck the high. So they'll let go of block and then block immediately. Or they'll poke, right? And if they poke, they just poke you out of the throw. So they basically get their turn that they were already going to get. You have to look at it in, in that logical standpoint. Is that they're pretty much just taking the turn that they were going to take anyway from you, right? Because you were minus six. So there's a little bit of a mind game there. And I highly recommend that you... You pay attention to that mind game and you focus on that mind game and use this on wake up because it'll catch people trying to uh, wake up buttons you and then when they try to do early pokes you just hit them with back one back one covers both options it's just the second hit makes you only plus 10 so if they do a delay poke you'll only get plus 10 keep that in mind but yeah that covers two that covers both wake up options but people when they see that you're doing stand two they're gonna try to start poking so just hit him with back one. It's a huge mind. Like, it's kind of weird. Melina, in a weird way, her meaties give you a good mind game. They actually make your opponent want to press more buttons. It's really weird how that works. You would think that down one, down one would always be your option, but not really because Melina is a risky character. So her goal is to kind of get you to press anyway. So that's a good option with her stand two also. And then finally... I think this is the last thing I wanted to talk about, but it's making sure you hit confirm off jump kicks. This is extremely important with Melina because Melina is one of the few characters that she can she can kind of confirm off of any jump kick. See, she can confirm off of forward one here, right? That's an early jump kick, right? Like if I set Melina to do this, I can't anti-air it. Well, hold on. Hold on. There you go. So that's an early jump kick, right? And look what Melina can do. She can she can convert off an early jump kick. And she can convert off a late one too by OSing. So Melina's jump kick is actually really powerful because it's one of the few jump kicks that it's kind of like Shang's jump kick. You can pretty much convert from anywhere on in the air which gives her literally a mind game on her jump in and her jump kick is very powerful. You can actually, sometimes you can even, depending on how close they are, you can convert off an early jump kick with a ball roll, but usually you can't from like mid screen. So you have to, you have to convert into ball, um, forward one. But please practice hit confirming this, practice hit confirming it on the other side too. So for example, if you're Molina and you do a cross up, Hold on. Like, practice that. Practice, like, confirming on the right side. Because that's going to help. If you do ball roll, it doesn't work. And the way that I, I've i learned that it works the best is just still do forward one even if you're facing the wrong way. So, like, for example, if I'm here... the back of her hits right which means forward one should work 
And sometimes you can actually OS it like you saw there, right? You can actually OS it into back one. So even if you hit her from behind, it still converts. And this is extremely important for Melina's offense. This is what makes Melina really good because she has like a ridiculous jump too also. So like her jumpins are kind of busted. So she doesn't really have to play like actual neutral with her down three, which is kind of weird. But this is definitely another advantage that you should pay attention to when playing Melina. And those are just a few things that I've kind of learned. Another one that Ender in my PC Discord mentioned, and I didn't even know this, is that Melina can actually cover a lot of wake-up options with just simply ball roll. So, like, if you feel like your opponent is just kind of, like, pressing buttons and, like, trying to always do a wake-up attack, I didn't even think about this until earlier, but you can actually cover multiple wake-up options with just ball roll. And I know it's unsafe. I know it's unsafe. But just look for the yellow, and then you know you can do it. See, like, I look for the yellow. You have to backdash a little bit. Yeah, so this, isn't, this is a little bit hard to do. There we go. And I didn't convert right there. Yeah, she'll go through it if you don't do it right. There we go. That was on the right side. Um, well, that's bad damage. Hold on, let me get better damage. Now, watch, watch it cover every option here. Except delay wake up. Oops. And then watch it cover all over wake up attacks too. And then finally, watch it cover this one. So Melina does have options on Oki. That is extremely unsafe, but we've all played players that they don't, they don't block on wake up. So that's an option to deal with people not blocking on wake up because low side doesn't work unfortunately uh i've learned that the hard way like the way that stabby doesn't give you enough advantage to backdash in time to do low side without them doing like a jump two on you so that's an option if you feel like you have no control over your opponent's wake up options but those are a few things that are extremely important that i'm learning that is going to up my molina game because Melina, you've really got to suck the well dry, for a lack of better term, with Melina, because there's just so many things that you your opponent can capitalize on if you don't cover those weaknesses, and that's why I'm giving this video today. So, if you guys have any questions, or if you wanted to talk more Melina, or give me better advice on how to play her, please feel free to mention it in the comments or in my discord. So I'll see you guys later. Subscribe for more.